Hello Matodistas and thanks for joining us on today's interesting episode as we talk you through some very important updates at Real Madrid. Kickstarting on today's agenda, Real Madrid have set a 35 million euros spending limit for right back target Jeremy Frimpong as Chelsea and Liverpool also keen on a move. We are going to be talking you through that on this episode. And shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Vinicius Junior and Eduardo Camavinga were reportedly injured and got injured while on international duty. Real Madrid are going to receive some monetary compensation for the two stars. So we are going to be talking you through the amount and details in which Real Madrid will receive as compensation from FIFA for the two players who got injured while on international duty. So before we kick start on this episode, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned right up to the end and follow us on Twitter by clicking on our Twitter link which is available on this video's description. Thank you. Even though the next summer transfer window is still very far away, planning is already underway at Real Madrid to strengthen the squad. An elite striker and a left back are understood to be the priorities of the summer of 2024. But at the same time, Los Blancos are also keeping an eye on the transfer market for a new right back. With Dani Carvajal getting, not getting any younger and Lucas Vasquez's contract expiring at the end of the season, Real Madrid could do with a long term here for the position. As such, Spanish publication Depor is reporting that Real Madrid have set their sights on Bayern Leverkusen's young star Jeremy Frimpong. The 22-year-old has been brilliant for the Bundesliga club, especially over the past year or so, under the tutelage of manager Xabi Alonso, who is linked with Real Madrid hot seat. And the report states that Alonso if he were to replace Carlo Ancelotti at the Santiago Bernabeu next year, wants to bring Jeremy Frimpong along with him from Bayern Leverkusen. Frimpong has been on Real Madrid radar in the past as well, and all links with Alonso seems to have only intensified talks about a move for the Dutch defender as well. However, Real Madrid will not have it easy in the pursuit of Frimpong as Premier League giants Chelsea and Liverpool are also said to be interested in the 22-year-old defender. Furthermore, the report adds that Los Blancos president Florentino Perez does not wish to spend more than 35 million euros to sign Frimpong, whose market value currently stands at 45 million euros. Considering that both Chelsea and Liverpool are unlikely to have any qualms about spending big on the right back, it puts Real Madrid in a disadvantageous position. The report further adds that Alonso has conditioned his arrival at the Bernabeu to the signing of Frimpong, which makes things even more complicated for Real Madrid. So it remains to be seen how things evolve in the Merengue's pursuit for Jeremy Frimpong as well as Alonso. So having talked on that, we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid are set to receive monetary compensation from FIFA for Vinicius Jr. and Eduardo Camavinga's injury. The ongoing international break has brought unpleasant development in Real Madrid camp. Both Eduardo Camavinga and Vinicius Jr. suffered relatively serious injuries on duty with their respective national team and are both expected to miss the rest of the year. The, the duo joins the team's long list of injury players which already include the likes of Eder Militao, Thibaut Couture, Kepa Riza Balaga and Aurelien Chouameni further compromising Carlo Ancelotti's plan. 
Earlier this week, reports brought out the estimated compensation Real Madrid would receive for Camavinga's injury to be around 1 million euros. According to Mundo Deportivo, the situation with Vinicius Jr. is similar. FIFA will begin to compensate Real Madrid for the Brazilian winger's absence from December 14th, 28 days after his injury on international duty. Los Blancos will receive 20,548 dollar uh, euros per day thereafter and considering that the player will be out for 10 weeks they will add at least 863,016 euros to their coffers. It is clear at this point that Vinicius Jr is fundamental to Real Madrid's plan. He is one of the team's X factors on the field and often the, the spark that brings home three points. Having suffered a blow to his femoral biceps, the youngster is expected to be out until February 2024 and the worst case scenario. The team will merit higher financial compensations if Vinicius Jr. is ruled out for longer, but his value on the field far exceeds the monetary compensations. After all, he will not only miss decisive games in La Liga and Copa del Rey, but also sit out of the Spanish Super Cup in January. Ancelotti will hope that the likes of Rodrigo and Joselu step up in his absence, but no one can quite replicate the young phenom's impact on the game. So having said that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. See you next time and Hala Madrid to us all.